beautiful day, unlimited sparkle, welcome to my car. And we are driving from the beach and with this opportunity I thought I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my latest insight. And that is, uh, it has to do with success. And I know a lot of you think about success, so let's talk about it. Uh, I was playing cockroach golf the other day. I don't know if you have cockroaches in your house, but I do. I live in Costa Rica, as you can see and I live in the mountains and there's cockroaches sometimes coming into my house and I don't like having them in my house I don't like to kill them either so what I do, I take a broom and we play cockroach golf you know, you open the door and I try to escort them with the, with the broom and it feels like it feels like golf especially because I have this little hole outside of my house, uh, outside of the door so I always try to like aim there and it's like really fun because it's like a game plus they are way more dynamic than a, than a golf ball because they move they can even fly they can even like start flying around and they fly in your hair and stuff so it could be fun I used to be scared of them but now when you when you learn how to have fun of something with something the fear just is gone so why am I saying this well when I was playing this cockroach golf I had an image in my mind um, because when I was little I saw these guys playing golf on TV and I thought wow that really stuck with me as a as an image for success. I thought, wow, they really look successful, so this must be success. And now thinking about it, I laughed. I was like, oh, you know, like, I don't think this is really success. Like, you know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be playing golf. It's not entertaining enough for me, or it's just not my thing. And then I thought, wow, but what if would I consider success right now? I will be laughing at it in 10 years. So what, what, what is success for me? And if I don't have a clear definition of success, am I bound to be disappointed I think so so I thought about it you know and and we have always these images that run through our minds about success and about ourselves however they're just images and whatever image you have about your success just think about it right now like what what do you think will make you successful maybe it's something that your parents were expecting or your society and you think uh, you know either in relationships or having a lot of money like what do you think will make you successful and you will probably have some images in your mind flashing in, in you know uh, in the background either if you're aware of it or not and that is that image of success now what is wrong with having these images of success well there's nothing wrong about it because it just happens anyway but it's it's really useful to just be aware of those and and know that they are not true because we believe them as true and how do I illustrate that? Okay, so imagine that you have a sandwich in your mind. You're thinking about a sandwich. Um, you have a beautiful image, you visualize it with some garlic sauce, I don't know, some yumminess in it, and, and you're really hungry. It doesn't matter how beautiful you can imagine this sandwich, it won't satisfy your hunger. And this is the same thing with, with the images we have about success or about ourselves. It doesn't satisfy our, our hunger. And as I was there in my in my house playing with this cockroach golf, I realized that what it really is to be successful, I'm doing it right now, and that is having fun. No matter where I am, what am I doing? If I'm not having fun, it doesn't matter how much money do I have, how much possessions do I have. I really want to have fun, and I really want to love people. Because when I have judgments or some other negative or not negative but, but thoughts that are not true running in the background I know I can't be happy and I'm overthinking and processing too much so those are the criteria that I essentially think will are, are success for me which is having fun, love and beautiful, beautiful mind so I want you to think about yours what are your images that are running in the background of your mind because really it doesn't matter how many things you will buy, possess, obtain, even though they can be super fun to play with. I'm not saying they're wrong. Um, but they unfortunately don't have the ability to erase our negative thoughts and negative beliefs. So let me know what you think about this video. Maybe have a thought about your definition of success. Because if we don't think about these things, we are bound to be disappointed. So let me know. I would love to hear your definition of success or your illusions that you have about success right now because I don't want to be on my deathbed waking up one day on my last day and thinking wow I have been chasing the wrong ghosts
<laughs> Let me know if you like this episode from the car because I can do more. It's quite entertaining. As you can see, I'm having fun. And how far are you willing to go to be really successful in your life?